Hi, and welcome back to Gavin Sonic's B. Well, it's only been a couple of days, and uh, I've been out in the garage and done some more stuff. Um, I've been working on the oil pipes, um, the external oil pipes that run around the engine, um, and the breather on top. So I'll show you what I've done. So there's a couple of pipes that you need to bend up and fit. There's one that runs from the pump up and deposits the return oil from the turbocharger back into the crankcase. Um, and the second one that needs bending up is this one. Um, so I've fitted a T-piece there and this is the oil pressure sender and then there's a pipe that runs from here so there's a bleed off the oil is under pressure here there's a bleed off which runs off to the turbocharger i think um well the filter for the turbocharger um, so that's all done. It's looking very nice. This one was a bit hard to, to bend and get the right length. The, the sample that's in the manual uh, comes out around and back in. And I know why they've done that. So it's easy to get the length right. Um, I've just made it the right length. And then the third one that I've done is the... This is the breather on the top of the engine and uh, I've bought a piece of fairly sturdy aluminium tube which is going to run back to here and then here it's going to change into uh, rubber pipe effectively and uh, run back down and into the oil catch can. Um, it was very hard to bend it around here. Um, I bought a tube that's about two millimeter wall thickness and that's really, really hard to bend. I've also drilled uh, a securing screw um, in there. So I've just drilled that, tapped it through both pieces and that screw um, stops this from coming loose at any point in the future. I mean, it is pressed in there but just in case a little screw just to stop it from moving with the vibration so uh, that took me uh, all of yesterday I think it was to do that um, pretty much the good news is I've had my delivery of parts um, that I ordered the other day from a very good company in uh, in Holland actually, um, mainland Europe, so it's easy to get stuff sent here from, from there, and cheap. Um, and so we've got a number of items like this, um, I can't remember where all the rest of the bits are now, but uh, there's quite a few of them. Uh, they were pretty much all okay, apart from this, which is going in the top of the oil catch can, and I got the thread size wrong. This is a 3 8 MPT, and it should have been a half inch MPT. Stupid me. Um, the new one of these reducers uh, has arrived for the... Uh, intake for the turbocharger i've got the turbocharger held in place at the moment and just looking at all the fittings that are needed to get the water through it for the cooling system and uh, i'll be making up the oil flexible oil um, tubes for the uh, for the turbo oil um, in the next couple of days as well. 
so progress um, slow but sure had a bit of trouble putting the little blue one in on the back side um, had to uh, just file the uh, aluminium I don't know whether I can show you without taking it out but basically I had to file the aluminium ring round here a little bit just to allow this 45 degree bend to rotate to be able to screw it in and uh, it was only a fraction probably a millimeter um, just to uh, to allow it to rotate um, but it's all looking very nice I'm quite pleased with it the pipe works reasonably good um, I don't have any special bender or anything for it. I've had to do it all by hand in the vice with various, bending it round various bits of tube um, that I've got lying around in the garage. Um, the rest of the rubber joints have arrived for the intake manifold so I can um, start to look at assembling that. Once I've got the turbocharger attached um, and I've ordered some electrical connectors and uh, bits and pieces so that we can start to look at the electrical wiring on the engine um, back to the firewall. Um, so that's what I've been up to. Uh, more later. So I've been a busy boy over the last couple of days. Uh, had a day off yesterday actually and went out to the car club. Uh, meet and had lunch out with some friends uh, that was quite nice but today I'm back on it again um, so uh, over the last few days I have attached the turbo and uh, looked at um, getting that all done and the uh, inlet uh, manifold so I'll show you what I've done so here we are the turbo is in place it's secured um, correctly with its bolts I have attached the uh, wastegate actuator as well and uh, that is uh, took a bit of lining up I had to bend the um, wastegate actuator bracket a bit um, to get it to line up um, and um, I put a tiny tiny little bend I don't know whether you can see it in the actual actuator rod as well just to get the um, this part to sit flat on the spigot that sticks out otherwise the retaining um, split washer type thing split ring um, wouldn't go on so um, uh, that's what I had to do to that one it's all set and uh, done on that side um, I've also um, put the water uh, this is where the water comes out of the turbo this is the thermostat and then there's a, a corner and the pipework will continue silicon pipe work from there onwards so i've got the exhaust in position at the moment but not tightened up um, and that's good we've got a decent gap around here so i can get my finger in which is good and um, what else have i done on this side so we've got the uh, silicon uh, tube from the uh, intake side of the turbocharger up to the T um, section here um, this is where the air and fuel mixture splits and goes one side to these two cylinders and this side round to the other two cylinders um, I've also uh, put in the um, hose to the pressure sensor on the RDAC for the turbo pressure. On the other side, you should just about be able to see, there it is, 
the pressure pipe from the turbocharger to the uh, wastegate actuator which is up under there is also in um, so when the turbo gets up to a certain pressure the actuator pushes the uh, wastegate open um, what else have we got so we've got the um, intake manifold coming around it's all coupled up to the intake on this side and also on the other side um, and I'm starting to get an idea now where all the pipes are going to be going which where we've got space where we haven't got space I'm going to make some standoffs to go between the uh, inlet manifold and the engine mount just to hold that secure um, on both sides um, just to make sure that it um, it's going to be rubber uh, rubber tube basically with a tie wrap uh, through the whole thing um, just to um, hold it in place so that uh, it's not waggling about um, what else have I done oh I'll show you on this side I had forgotten all about the cylinder head temperature sensors um, the particular type I've gone for which are um, supplied by MGL I think and compatible with the um, engine management uh, unit and the RDAC that I've got over there um, need to be uh, tapped into the uh, little little um, self tapper there tapped into a hole on each cylinder um, should have done this really when uh, the cylinders were on the bench and uh, it was easy to do but uh, no the engines assembled and uh, so I had to do it in situ here um, with a vacuum cleaner running to suck all the bits away I taped up um, the, any holes that I could uh, see um, just to stop the swarf from going in the engine but should have been done earlier really so there's one there you can see you might just be able to get a glimpse of the other one on this side over there. They're all basically in the same position on each cylinder. Um, there are some instructions which you can download from the Sonics website um, on how to uh, position what depth to drill um, without compromising the cylinder. Um, so that's that. Um, and so that's basically what I've been up to. Um, so for now, I think we'll probably call it quits at that. Uh, what am I looking at next? The electrical connectors have arrived, so I've got to sort out this bunch here. These are the um, trigger uh, wires for the secondary um, ignition, um, the one that uses... Um, car style um, uh, coils coil packs down there to uh, to generate the spark uh, I need a couple of connections from the magnetos um, which are basically the kill wires um, so you can uh, you basically ground a connection um, to earth it's uh, over on that side um, to stop them from working um so that needs doing um so we've got those wires to come back um also the trigger wire for the starter which is around the other side that's got to come from there uh the trigger wire for the starter and of course um i've mounted my regulator in here and so uh, the supply or the um, rectified and regulated supply from the um, alternator um, will also be going across as well. So uh, got a few connections to make. And uh, so I need to get my pencil and paper out and actually uh, plan out what I'm going to do. Uh, not a lot of connections to the engine, um, just a few, uh, pr 
probably less than 12. Uh, and then also got the, uh, not that they need wiring, but uh, we've got the um, exhaust gas temperature probes and the cylinder head um, probes as well, which have got to be routed back. They're already pre-wired um, back to the RDAC unit. So we'll look at that as well. Um, hopefully in the next uh, few days, the um, things I'm waiting for at the moment, uh, the oil filter for the turbo still hasn't arrived, um, so I can't really make up the um, pipes for that yet, because uh, I don't know where I'm going to mount it. Um, and what else are we waiting for? Oh yes, the uh, the adapter to fix the mistake I made uh, on thread sizes for the uh, oil catch can. Uh, I've got the pipe to go on it, but uh, until the actual adapter arrives, I can't uh, measure the pipe off and uh, fit it. So waiting for that. So we've got the aluminium barbs arriving. Uh, the barb fittings arriving to go on the um, uh, turbo cooler um, header tank. Um, so as soon as they arrive, we'll get that off to uh, the welder and get him to modify it for me. So well, I'm making progress. Um, spending a lot of time thinking about where things are going to get rooting. I don't want it to look like a bird's nest when it's finished. I've seen some that do. <laughs> And uh, I would like mine to be nice and neat and uh, have some order to it, let's say. I start off with the good intentions, but uh, no idea whether we'll actually achieve it. Anyway, that's all for now, and I'll see you next time. More later.